What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance review today. We're going to be taking a look at a fragrance from 1992 from the house of Ralph Lauren. It is a Safari for Men. So this is classified as a woody aromatic, but I see it as more of a leather fragrance. And what we're going to do, as we always do, is we're going to break down the fragrance in five points. First, taking a look at its box and bottle presentation. And then I'm going to go over the fragrance's notes. Then I'm going to talk about the fragrance's performance on my skin based on my experience of wearing it. Then I'm going to give it my overall thoughts. And then, of course, my overall rating. Before we do jump into the review, I do want to say if it is your first time here and you enjoy fragrance content and you like what you see in the channel, especially if you're a fan of classic men's masculine fragrances of the past, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you have an Instagram, go check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel. And of course, photos of fragrances from my collection. So let's get this review started. All right, let's first take a look at the box presentation for Safari by Ralph Lauren. As you can see here, it is kind of got this brown like leather print alligator skin type of look, but more so leather pattern to it. It's definitely textured. And you can see there it says Safari for Ralph Lauren in that kind of silver gray. And down here it says the size and concentration. You have a you know a four ounce, so 125 ml. It is an eau de toilette. And then on the sides, you just have that same pattern, same thing on the top, and same thing on the side there. Really cool looking. On the bottom, you have your barcode and you have your stamped batch code. So the batch code for this fragrance is 18P9008. So this one is a newer release. Uh, newer, I would say it's about three and a half years old. Came out in September of 2017. That's when this bottle was made. Obviously, the fragrance was initially introduced to the market in 1992. And you got some brand information there on the back too. So really nice looking box. Uh, this is the bottle. The bottle is absolutely beautiful. I put it, uh, you know, a dent in it. I've worn it a lot. Uh, you can see it's got this really nice gradient pattern here. It is textured. This metal emblem in the middle or plastic. I think this is plastic. And you see on the top here what looks like a lacquered wood grain finish. And you can see the sticker there with the batch code again on the bottom. And it's really just nice looking juice. Very like almost like a, this looks like a whiskey decanter to me. That's what that reminded me of. It looked awesome. A very classy bottle on anyone's countertop. The cap, um, you can hold it by the cap. It is, goes on real snug, doesn't click into place, but it's really tight. And you see the silver atomizer there with the distribution, pretty decent. It's not the best, but it's, it'll do the job. So really nice looking bottle and box for this fragrance. All right, so the notes for Safari for Men by Ralph Lauren, uh, again, this is the very beginning of the 90s, 1992. So men's fragrances still had a lot of notes. And this was kind of at the tail end of the you know real masculine powerhouse fragrance era. So in the top of this fragrance, you're going to have lavender, bergamot, aldehydes, coriander, green notes, artemisia, neroli, and lemon. And then in the heart of the fragrance, you have a lot of floral notes. So carnation, cinnamon, tarragon, rose, cyclamen, and jasmine. And then in the base, you have leather, oak moss, sandalwood, musk, patchouli, cedar, and amber. So just smelling this and wearing this fragrance, to me, I, I pick up on a little bit of citrus and a little bit of the floral, but to me, the leather is the most dominant note in this fragrance. It's a real smooth leather, but that's the one I pick up on the most. All right, so the performance for Safari for Men on my skin, my experience with it, and again, this is the newer formulation that I'm reviewing, um, is decent. I'm getting like where I can still notice the scent on my skin or on my clothes about four to five hours, and then after that, it's very faint. By the end of a workday, I can't smell it at all. And that's about five to six sprays that I'm using. I do have an aftershave. And this is an older, this is made by Cosmar. So this is still pretty strong, but even that's not really going to push the performance. Um, you know, this time around before this review, I didn't use this. Uh, but the performance for this one is okay. It's not beast mode um, by any means. And that's what I think actually adds to its versatility given the fact that it's kind of at the tail end of the of the powerhouse fragrance era. So I would say performance on this is decent. So my overall thoughts for Safari for Men by Ralph Lauren. Um, this is a very nice smelling fragrance. Um, it doesn't have the strength and power and just distinct masculinity that I would say Polo for Men has or Polo Green. It's still a masculine scent, but Polo for Men is just on a whole other level. This one kind of like takes a masculine turn, but at the same time, it's a lot smoother. It's a little bit fresher. It's not as heavy. Um, I think it can be worn pretty much any time of the year. I think that it's a great office scent. And if you're new to fragrances that I review in this channel, right? Like, let's just say you traditionally you've had just more mainstream, you know, newer releases, say like a Blue de Chanel or a Sauvage 
or you know a Versace Dylan blue or that's the type of thing that that you like to wear um, you know as like your daily center just like what you've had a, a you know fragrances experience with in the past and you you know have seen a couple reviews and you want to you know maybe have a gateway fragrance into classic men's masculine fragrances from like a couple decades ago this is a great gateway to classic men's fragrance scent because it's not over the top right so you can pull this off it's not going to offend anybody i you know again i'm speaking on behalf of the newer formulation i think you can wear this at work no problem i think it's best for the daytime i think people maybe 30s and up might enjoy it a little bit more but it's very clean and smooth i like it it's not a mega hit for me like say polo for men or polo green uh is because that one i just think is, is so classic but this is the only other fragrance from ralph Lauren that i own because the other ones I'm, i don't think i'm as interested in you know or and a lot i haven't tried either but I can just kind of get that idea. But this is one I really wanted to try. I really like the look of the bottle. And, and the juice smells really good. You get citrus and floral in the opening. And then it's got this really smooth lingering leather note. It reminds me almost like of the inside of a nice satchel. That's where I get the safari idea. I think its presentation really fits um, the way it smells. And I think that that's awesome. Um, and it, the color of it, it all kind of coincides with the safari look, like that leather or tan khaki, smooth, but you could wear this in the summertime, you could wear it in the cooler weather. Um, maybe in the summer it might even perform a little bit better because of the fact that it, you know, that it'll stay in the air, whereas in the cold it doesn't, it doesn't last as long. Although I think it's all year round and anytime. I think best in the daytime though. Um, it's not going to rival Polo for men or Polo Green for me, mainly because it just lacks that kind of like robust oomph that Polo has, where this one just doesn't have that but it still smells really nice and it's very clean and again easier I think to pull off for a lot of people who aren't into classics as much and again a great gateway fragrance for you know uh, classic men's masculine scents of, of the past you know those, those are my favorites and I think this is an easy reach and a perfect office scent too this one is safe um, I think you know again it, it's easy price wise you're probably looking at 60 70 dollars from what i've seen retail you probably can get a little bit less on like gray market sites like fragrance x or fragrance net um so you know if you are gonna buy it i would say look around for it see if you can get the best deal because again you know i don't i'm only noticing it on my skin you know where i can still notice the scent uh for about four to five hours or so so kind of fall short in performance a little bit but overall a really nice clean men's scent i like it a lot all right, everyone, let's do the overall rating for Safari for Men by Ralph Lauren. So first of all, box and bottle presentation. Absolutely love it. Going to give it a 9 out of 10. I think this is one of the cooler bottles that I own. Uh, it, it, it just, you know, again, it looks like a really nice, expensive, like, whiskey flask or something like that. I really like it. And, you know, the cap and atomizer is all very nice. And it's, it's got a great look to it. So 9 out of 10 for presentation. As far as performance goes, I'm noticing it, like, at a maximum for about 5 hours. So it's going to get a 5 out of 10. It falls short in pre uh, performance for me. Um, it could be my skin, not really sure. Haven't ever tried the Cosmar Vintage version. Uh, I don't think that's worth looking up or and tracking down a bottle for that. I just, I don't like the fragrance that much, but I do enjoy it. So uh, we're going to do 5 out of 10 for performance. And the scent is good, not great. It's definitely not the best from the house. The best, in my opinion, still is uh, the original Polo. So this is going to get a 6.5 out of 10 for scent, which is going to bring it to an overall rating of 6.5 out of 10 overall for Safari Ralph Lauren. Like the fragrance. Not an absolute love, but I think it's a little bit easier to wear and smoother and overall versatile, like I had mentioned too. So I want to hear from you guys. Uh, what do you think of Safari by Ralph Lauren? Do you have a bottle? Did you have an older version? Do you still like it? Do you wear it? Do you think it's as versatile as I do? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments section as I always appreciate all the interaction. And thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching the video today. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.